Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me. After what was an absolutely shocking month weather-wise in May, thankfully it seems like the summer has finally reached us here in the UK and tonight I should have a fairly clear night. So I am finally back out in the garden set up and tonight I'm going to go after the Pelican Nebula and the North American Nebula. So like I said, the target for tonight is going to be the Pelican Nebula and the North American Nebula. Now I was initially just planning to shoot the Pelican Nebula, but I have a wide field scope uh, set up on my mount and hopefully I should be able to fit both the Pelican and the North American Nebula in the frame. Now both of these targets are obviously right next to each other in the constellation Cygnus and Cygnus is a great target for me here in the UK in the summer months because it's nice and high in the sky all night long and I should be able to get some usable data on it over the next few nights. Now while I say I should be able to get quite a lot of data um, it's now early May and we don't have have much dark sky here in the UK. In fact, we don't have any astronomical darkness at all at the moment, but I should still have about three hours per night uh, where it gets dark enough where I can actually collect some usable data. So I think it gets dark enough about quarter past 11-ish and starts to get light again around 2.30, 3 o'clock. So hopefully if all goes according to plan, I should be able to get three hours per night over the next few nights on the HA03 and the S2 filters. So after what seemed like a really successful uh, galaxy season for me, I'm now back into shooting nebulas. I've got the mono camera set up. I'm gonna be shooting through the narrowband filters again, and I'm really excited to try and get some nebula targets. Targets. Now I've not shot these, the, either of these targets before um, but I've seen some absolutely fantastic photos of them online so I've been uh, drawn in. Um, I really want to, to try and do it justice and get some, get some good data. Okay, so I just thought I'd quickly run through the gear that I'm going to be using tonight. This is the telescope, so it is the Ascar 400mm f5.6 scope. It is a quintuplet refractor, so it should have a completely flat field all the way across up to full frame. So I'm excited to, to try this out. Now my camera is the 2600mm Pro. So I was really impressed by the uh, 2600MC Pro. So I decided to sell my 1600 and upgrade to this, which I know a lot of people have done and have had great results. So I'm excited to use this tonight. I've got the Antilla 3.5 nanometer filters in the filter wheel. Um, so obviously I'm gonna be shooting HA, O3 and S2 for this target. I'm going to go for the O3 tonight because uh, there's not much moon. All of this is being controlled by the ASI Air Pro. I have the 120 mini guide cam and the tiny uh, 30 mil F4 guide scope. I have the ZWA EAF, which is controlling the focus. And all of this is sat on top of the Skywatcher NEQ6 Pro. So that's my setup tonight. As with all new setups, I'm sure there'll be a few hiccups on, along the way, but hopefully I can get it up and running and I can collect some data. Hey 
Okay, so I've just polar aligned and I just thought I'd show you what I was talking about earlier. So it's just gone 11 o'clock and it's still too light to actually start taking images. So I need to probably wait for about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour before I can actually start. So while most people love the brighter evenings in the summer, it does very much limit the amount of time, the amount of exposures we can get on different subjects. But I'll just wait 20 minutes, half an hour, then it should be dark enough and I will start collecting some data. Okay, so it's been just over a week since I started this project. And I've only had two clear nights in that time. I was forecasted a lot more than that, but unfortunately the clouds did roll in. And in that time, there was a couple of thunderstorms as well. So I did have to rip everything down, um, pack away the scope and set it back up again. But hopefully tonight it's looking pretty good and I can collect my final um, filter, which is the, the S2. So I have managed to capture some HA and some O3 data. And I think that they are looking really good so I thought I'd show you a single exposure so this is what a single sub looks like for the HA and I will put that up on the screen so you can see it in more detail but I think it's looking absolutely great there's there's so much detail in this this single seven minute exposure in the end I was shooting um, and I'm really happy with them and I got about just over three hours on each filter so hopefully when I stack this the the data's going to look great and this is what it looks like on the O3 so again I'll put that up on screen but I'm always pleased when you can actually see um, quite a bit of detail in the O3 data. Um, I know that when you when you then stack it, when you combine all the hours together, you should be able to pick out some really nice detail in that. So I'm absolutely delighted with how the data is looking so far and hopefully it stays clear tonight and I can finish off this image tonight, collect some sulfur data and then I can uh, show you hopefully a pretty good image at the end of the video. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. It really does help. And please let me know what you think of the final image in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one.